Test observability is a smart test reporting tool, first and foremost. It also helps you debug the root cause of your test failures and gives you loads of insights using which you can improve the automation health. Using test observability, you will be able to boost your automation stability and also save immense amount of time that you spend today analyzing the root cause of test failures. Test observability is a platform that replaces the need for all test reporting and debugging tools. Let's take a quick dive at what the product does. Any automation test engineer, when they wake up in the morning and start office, right, they would want to know what happened with the last night's regression or the smoke builds or the sanity builds. This is the place where they will find all their builds coming for each of their projects. Every kind of project within your company running any kind of test, everything will show up here. Doesn't matter where your tests are running. It could be on browser step platform. It could be anywhere else. All of that will come to test observability. Test observability automatically detects a lot of things for the users. For example, let's take a dig at this one, the sanity suite. Let's go inside. So the moment you go in, you see that there are 55 tests that have run. There is a summary. There is a build history. What has what has been happening with the build recently? Automatically, we are detecting flakiness. Are there any muted test cases? What are the new failures and what are the always failing tests? So imagine without test observability, you would have to go through all the 21 test failures. But now, no longer. You don't have to go through the flaky ones. You don't have to go through the always failing ones. You don't want to spend time debugging the noisy failures. Rather, dive into the genuine ones. And not just that, test observability automatically de detects all the unique errors. So what that means is that even if your test has a test report has a lot of failures, there are actually maybe a few hand handful of errors because of which those tests have failed. You can dive into each of them. You can look at what tests have failed and what not. You can keep it. Also, you can track your stability, we have an AI engine which automatically tags the reasons of these failures as well. And test observability also gives you module level reporting. Let's take a dive into the actual test report generated by test observability. So this test report that will show up right next to you right now will contain all the tests as you organize them. And you can not only do that, you can actually go and check the code of the test as well. We have GitHub, GitLab, all such kinds of integrations out of the box. Let's take a look at one single issue. For example, this one. This was automatically analyzed by our analyzer and as an environment issue. And it's also an always failing test. Maybe let's look, take a look at a new failure. Okay, this one. You can see that the test has failed for so many times, but it's still tagged as a new failure because test observability is smart enough to understand that this is a new error because of which this test has failed. And you can debug the root cause of the test failure, like I said, right here on test observability. The video logs, the logs from the test framework, the logs coming from the terminal, basically the CI console logs, device logs, network logs, application logs, all kinds of logs organized and presented in one single timeline imagine a test has failed you can see the failure and just before the failure you see something on the network 5xx or something on the console that this has failed or something on your application side that something else has failed so you can do the root cause analysis completed with the screenshots and video proof on this screen itself and once you've done that, you can go ahead and create a Jira ticket from here itself or collaboratively, collaboratively debug with other peers. Now let's take a look at other aspects of test observability. You can also track the automation health across your test suite. And the, this is at a project level. You can see what are the average failure rates and you can actually take a deep dive at any single test case. For example, this one. So any test case that you pick you can actually see the entire timeline history of executions of that test. You can zoom into any particular range and do your debugging from here as well. So this is a timeline debugging 
in combination with time travel debugging. You can travel back in time and debug any test case from anywhere. Similarly, observability also provides you the error side of the story, which tells you what are the top errors in your project. And you can just fix them and get back your stability up. Test observability also helps you track and monitor all your key automation metrics. Is the flakiness really going down? Is the stability improving? Is the performance also improving? Are the failure categories heading towards where you want them to head? New failures, always failing, unique error. Everything that you want to track for any project is right here. But you might wonder that what if I want to track something else? What if I want to benchmark or two different projects or two different builds and try to measure flakiness against them. You can do that as well through our dashboards feature. Using which you can actually create any custom dashboard with all these kinds of different widgets in single place. This is completely custom. You can customize the way you want. This is just a sample that I'm showing you. All these different kinds of widgets can be customized as per your needs. For example, new failures over here, you can compare. We are comparing two different projects, new failures. All this and many more will come with test observability. Thanks for here.